Our bodies cool through the process of sweating and then evaporation of the sweat. The problem is, in very humid weather, the sweat doesn't evaporate and just runs off the body or people towel off. And so the cooling mechanism isn't as effective and you keep dumping out more and more sweat, running the risk of dehydration. Dehydration may cause a multitude of symptoms ranging from mild headache, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, cramping, all the way to potentially coma and death. Fluids, just like in your car, are necessary for the whole system to function well. In heat in general, you're going to need to replace your fluids to compensate for the sweat that is lost. Weighing yourself before you're out in the heat and then afterwards gives you an idea of how much you sweat. It's a very variable rate. Replacing the amount of sweat you have lost really helps maintain good hydration. And if just remember, a pound is 16 ounces, so if you've lost a pound, you've sweated out 16 ounces of fluid. And you don't need to replace it all at once, you'll probably get sick if you do that, but you need to replace it gradually over the next couple of hours. If you're out laying down a new lawn and you're out for hours on end, probably adding something with some carbohydrates and maybe even a little electrolytes like the Gatorade or Powerade that are out there will work a little more effectively than water, but water is still your best coolant for um, short-term exercises. So maintaining good hydration levels will allow you to sweat effectively to cool your body off so that you don't come in with all of the heat injuries. If you want a glass of cold chocolate milk after a long workout, that's a great replacement for fluids and carbohydrates with some protein. It's actually a great after workout drink if, the, if it goes down for you. Other people, you know, just give them a big glass of cold water or, you know, something along those lines. So. But what you got to remember is cold fluids are going to be absorbed more rapidly than warm fluids. So if hydration is an issue, then the colder fluids are better.